If you have reached the Department of Social Security Administration, how can I help you today? Uh, yes, hello. I received a voicemail about uh, an hour ago and I was wondering what's that about. You know, that's why I'm, I'm returning the call. And what was the call all about? Call about uh, something to do with the, uh, like, uh, arrest warrant or something. I didn't even get that. Okay, uh, may I know with whom am I speaking? Me, I am Rohim. Rohim Box. I'm sorry? I am Rohim. Rohim, right? R O H I M. Yeah. And your last name? Yeah, last name is Box. B O X. B O X. So, Mr. Box, uh, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security. We have got an official order to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many criminal activities done on your social. Did you have any knowledge about this? No, no, I have no idea. I mean, I don't know what is happening. Far as I know, I'm okay. But you're telling me something different now. And just to confirm, did you receive any calls from your local police department? No, 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 no. Nothing like that, no. Okay, you have the right to know everything about this ongoing investigation. But before I go ahead and give out this information, which is confidential and sensitive in nature, so security reason, I need to verify that I'm speaking with the right person. Okay, so I would request you to confirm me your date of birth along with your social number so that I can pull up your case. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh the so the, do you want the social number first? Yeah. I'm it's sorry? A, yeah, do you want me to give you the social number first? Social no, first system. you have to give me the your date of birth. Yeah, it's a 20, 20, uh -huh. then it's 6, 1973. 20? Th yeah, then it's 6. That's the June. Uh-huh. Then it's then a 19? 1973. 1973 okay and for some security reason please verify me your social number yeah it's 07805 then it's uh, I'm sorry can you go a little bit slow yeah it's 07805 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then it's a double mm -hmm. one two zero mm -hmm. two zero okay just double one two zero right yeah Okay, just hold the line, let me pull up your case, okay? Right. And for which and from which state you got your social? Yeah, I, I live in New York. New York, okay. Yeah. And Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for confirming. Uh, now I would request you to grab a piece of paper and pen handy. Okay, as what I'm going to say, you have to make note of it. Paper okay. and pen. Okay. And uh, pen, yes. You just let me know whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah. I've, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got it. Yeah. You have got it. First of all, write down my name. Yeah. My name is Officer Jerry Thompson. Uh, J.B. Thompson. Is it J-E-R-R-Y? Y. J-E-R-R-Y, yes. T-O-M-S-O-N, is it? Thompson, yeah, got it. Yes, yeah, yes. And write down my batch ID number. My batch ID number is ML05. M then L05. Zero five. Zero. Yeah. B, B like in boy, the number 2. B then 2, yeah, okay, got it. You got that. And write down your case ID number. Right, yeah. 
Kiss ID number will be DMC. DMC. D like in dog. Yeah. Uh, yes. D like in dog. M like in Mary. C like in cat. Yeah. The number zero three three four. Three three four. Yeah, zero three three four. Got that. Okay. Now, can you please repeat me back my batch ID number? Yeah, it's a uh, M L zero five B two. Yes. And your case ID? D M C. Then it's zero three three four. Okay, that's absolutely right. Right. Okay, now. Okay, now, Mr. Box, I like to remind you that the line on which we are having this conversation is been federally recorded and monitored. Okay, so I would request you when I'll go ahead and read out the charges against your name. Please do not interrupt me. You will be given a fair chance after I have done reading the affidavit. Okay? Yeah, okay. Now, before I begin reading the affidavit, just a quick question. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? In Texas, uh, well, I have been there in um, near there. Yes, I have been. I have been there about a few weeks ago few weeks ago okay yeah yeah and for what purpose you went for what purpose you went over there uh, well I went there just holiday that's all just holidays yeah okay so right at the uh, right now you're working or you're retired no no I'm, I'm working you're working okay so yeah. now mr. box now listen to me very carefully, okay? Your affidavit states that social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas, okay? Because uh, we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Okay, and the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There was one address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rowlett was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence, but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation and financial institute such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And this entire paper box has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we as the Social Security Administration of the state of Texas has filed case against you for drug trafficking and as well as for money laundering. Now let, let us know do you have any question regarding this case? Well yes I do have question. I mean uh, how do you uh, uh, found out all this? I mean I don't get that because it's uh, it's uh, the car you're talking about abandoned. I've, uh, I've, uh, it's not even my car. I've seen it in the news. It's yes, yes I know. It's not your car but what the car we, which we, we have got was rented under your name sir that's oh. what i'm trying to explain you oh. okay nobody i have because not of, yeah yeah go ahead as we are ha yes because as we are having very short time and what you have done was totally against the law of u.s treasury and we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and have to suspend your social right away yeah, okay yeah. according to yeah carry on because yeah according to section 42 of 1958 drug enforcement act administration act being taken on available years and the penalty should be eighty nine thousand dollars but mr box okay mr box you're listening right yeah, yeah i'm listening yes mr box in this regard we have also checked your past records and we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your social have no other complaint in the past that is the only right to any consequence. You understand, right? Uh, well, yeah, I mean... Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, uh, we have, yes, have cross-checked your... 
past records okay that is the only and your banking has con contained a genuine records that is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal procedure okay yeah okay yeah but you know that uh, the, uh, the car you're talking about that's not even mine anyway I mean uh, and uh, another thing is the okay you said uh, somebody else using it so uh, if that mean like uh, the somebody else that like uh, you are looking for somebody else not me no no it's you and me it was under your name and all the social information was under your name that is the only reason we have the case for you we have a case for you okay for money laundering and for drug trafficking okay no, no yeah but i don't do uh, money laundering or anything like this i yes 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 i know you don't do that but right now you are the main culprit okay oh, if you yeah. agree to help the department of u.s treasury in this case then only we can put your case and warrant on hold okay as we have to find the real culprits right who use your personal information towards this criminal activities so it what is your intention to this case file which is going to be executed once this line get disconnected uh, okay the uh, do, you, do you want to help the u.s treasury to find the real culprits uh, yes please i mean um, yeah yes right yeah 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 of course okay now mr uh, mr box i request trust this one of the senior officer with da dea that is department of drug in administration who yeah. is the authorized person in regard with your case okay yeah yeah fine. okay just hold the line okay let me just transfer the call to the dea okay right okay just hold the line Yeah, Mr. Box, just bear with me, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm. The DEA, I'm yeah, I'm connecting you to the DEA. Just bear with me. Just hold the line. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, fine. He will guide you what to do, okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, and and one thing, he will ask you the case case ID number. You have the case ID number. Can you repeat that again? Yeah, it's M L zero five B two. No, no, the case ID number. Yeah, that's a uh, D M. C O uh -huh. three three uh -huh. four. Okay, okay, okay. Just hold the line, okay? I'm just passing the code to the DA, okay? Right. Thank you for holding the line. This is Special Agent Michael Robinson from the Department of Drug Enforcement Administration. Am I speaking with Mr. Joachim Boss? Yes, yes, I am, yeah. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Joachim. How are you doing today? Yeah, afternoon. Yeah, okay. Just, uh, I was relaxing in the house and, you know, but yeah, you tell me what you need to tell me. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I am here. I'm just checking your case file. Hold the line. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, 
Can you confirm me your social security number one more time? Uh, yes, it's uh, my social security number is 07 8 or oh, sorry 07 8 or oh, 5 1 1 2 0 and you got this social security number from which state? New York. That's where I live. Which year? That was about, about six months ago. Sometime. You got this social security number six months ago? Yeah, something like this, yeah. That's when I moved to New York. And presently you are working over there? Yeah, I am. What's your job profile? I'm working in a in an Indi Indian restaurant as a chef or as a waiter. I'm in the tund uh, you know in the tandoori tandoori chef. Okay, Mr. Box, uh, do you have any active bank accounts under your name? I have one. Which bank are you banking with? I'm banking with the the Chase Bank. And what is the what type of an account do you have there? I uh, just just uh, current account. That's it. The current account uh, is it a checking or a saving or a money market account? That's the checking. And what's the balance available as of now on this checking account? Around about uh, estimated, I would say uh, one and a half thousand dollar. Hundred and fifty thousand dollars? No, 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 no. I said one and a half thousand. Can you give me? Can you check it online if you have an access to your cell phone? Uh, no, I mean, no, look, I'm not going to do it now. I mean, I'm. Uh, okay, no problem. We'll check it out and we'll call you back. Thank you. Okay then. As you heard, he'll check it out and call me back. So, it wasn't bad. Ciao.